Hello, it's Leslie Fightmaster, and welcome to our total body energy or chakra flow. And I would invite you to begin by taking a comfortable seat and then take the hands together in front of your chest and set an intention for your practice. Remembering all intentions are welcome. It's just a way that we can connect. And now as you are releasing your hands, bring them down to your legs, palms facing down, and start to draw your attention to your sitting bones, right where you're sitting down on the floor or on your mat or maybe on a blanket or pillow. And imagine that your sitting bones have grown and they started to reach down toward the center of the earth. So imagine that there are cords or something connected to the sitting bones that are pulling you down toward the earth, making you feel very, very grounded and connected. And from that place, you can easily lift away and lengthen your spine. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring the hands forward. Lengthen the spine on the inhale. Exhale, walking forward again, keeping that grounding. So the grounding is in the first chakra and it governs our physical body, the base of our spine, the legs, the bones, our feet, rectum, immune systems. So we'll switch the cross of the legs here and then we're gonna re-ground down with the other shin in front. So again, imagine those grounding cords from the sitting bones, maybe even visualizing them with the color red, because red is associated with the first chakra. Some issues that can come up if there is imbalance in this chakra are physical family and group safety and security issues. Uh, difficulty providing for life's necessities, and difficulty to stand up for ourselves. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fingertips forward. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale to extend, continuing that grounding. Also some issues about feeling at home, if it's difficult to feel at home and some dysfunctions that can possibly arise, chronic low back pain, sciatica, varicose veins. Walk yourself back up and we'll come forward onto the hands and knees and then walk your hands in front of your shoulders. Tuck the toes coming into down dog. So in down dog, make sure the arms are shoulders distance apart and the feet are hips width and feel that grounding through the hands now. So spread the fingers, press into the base of your fingers and lift away with the forearms. I'm just bicycling the legs here. As you start to settle in, start to feel the weight press up to the hips and then reach down to the heels. Some other physical dysfunctions with the first chakra, walk yourself forward. Inhale to lengthen through the spine exhale to fold inhale press through the feet rising all the way up look up lengthen exhale the hands samastitihi so we'll find our tadasana here so now we'll be grounding down through the feet okay so find the base of the big toes the little toes inner outer heels pressing down there and imagine again you're being pulled into the earth and really connected so again, a couple of physical dysfunctions that might arise in the first chakra if there's an imbalance there could be rectal tumors, cancer, depression, immune-related disorders. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold, keep that grounding. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back into plank. So. Oh, pause here for a moment, bring the chest forward, reach the heels back, and then shift forward about an inch. Knees can be down here, lower all the way to the floor as you exhale. Inhale, hands by low ribs, peel the chest up, cobra. Reach the toes back, press all the toenails into the floor, grounding on the tops of the feet and the hands. Exhale to the knees and tuck the toes, reach back for downward facing dog. And then as you're here breathing, take a moment to just Notice, notice the sensations in your body. 
Are you getting a big stretch in the hamstrings? Maybe you feel it in your shoulders? Nothing's wrong, just notice. Look forward, step or hop your feet up. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Press through the feet, rise up on the inhale, reaching tall. Exhale to samastitihi. Inhale again, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and step back to plank. Chaturanga, shoulders no lower than the elbows. Inhaling, upward dog or cobra. Thighs and knees off the floor and up dog. Press through the hands and the feet. Exhale, stretch back to down dog. Again, find your grounding here. So through the hands, also through the feet. The heels may or may not touch, but make sure that the legs are nice and active if you can straighten them. So if the legs are straight, spin the inner thighs back and firm the leg muscles. So and the legs and the bones in the body are part of the first chakra, creating that grounded feeling. Look forward, step or hop up, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press down to rise all the way up and look up. Exhale to samastitihi. Inhale, once again, sweep the arms. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or float back. Floating back, land with bent elbows, chaturanga. Inhaling up. Exhale, stretching all the way back. Returning to your breath here. Gaze between the knees or the feet. Notice where your mind is. Is it present with your breath and your body or did it wander away? Sometimes mine wanders. So if yours is, just bring it back. Right leg up. Bend the knee. Open up the hip, stretching the hip open here on the right side. Press evenly through the arms and through the shoulders. And then square off the hips. Look forward. Step the right foot up between or right next to the right hand and Warrior one, back foot is flat. Pull the right hip back, drop the tailbone down. Now I want you to focus a lot on the back leg, pressing through the outer edge of the back foot, lifting the back inner thigh toward the back of the mat, and then press into the front heel. So again, feeling the grounding in the legs, in the feet. Exhale, we're gonna open to warrior two. So heel toe the front foot over, so you line up your front heel with your back arch. Drop your right hip down and make sure your knees are over your ankles. So now we're opening up the hips, which gets us into the second chakra. The second chakra is located right around the hips, and it governs the sexual organs, the large intestine, lower vertebra, the pelvis, the appendix, the bladder, and the hip area. Breathing here, allow your front hip to drop down, press the back thigh back, lifting the back inner thigh. And again, just focusing here on the breath. Let's drop the left arm reverse, bend right into the right knee a little, and then inhale to come up. Lean forward, take your right forearm to the right thigh, and bending into the knee, make sure the knee's still over the ankle. Or you can take your right hand to the pinky toe side of the right foot and then gently press the knee into your right arm just to make sure the knee stays pointed straight ahead. And the left tricep spins forward, pinky finger down, thumb up. If there are problems with the second chakra, blockages, you could experience blame and guilt. You might have issues with money and sex. We're going to bring the hands down to the inside of the right foot and pick up the back heel. You can either stay right here with the hands or you can put your hands on a block. You're also welcome to go deeper forearms on a block or even forearms on the floor. Okay. Pull the right hip back. Other issues you might experience with blockages here. And feel free to put the back knee down too. Power and control issues issues with creativity, and maybe ethics and honor in relationships. Those things might come up if there's a blockage in the second chakra. I'm going to take the back knee to the floor, 
and then step back to plank and move through chaturanga or you can skip it and go to down dog inhale press up through the hands and feet and exhale stretch all the way back into downward facing dog inhale the left leg up and then bend the knee open up through the hip pressing evenly through the arms and shoulders reach down through the right heel Step the left foot up by the left hand, back foot flat, heel to heel alignment, warrior one. So again, let's focus again on the grounding aspect of this one. So drop the tailbone, lift the hip bones, but then press firmly through the outer edge of the back foot, but continue to press the outer ankle in and up. Then as you bend into the left knee, make sure you have lots of weight in the left heel. Now we'll heel toe the left foot over, or you can move the back leg so that you're lined up heel to arch. I'm going to drop the left hip down, but lift the back inner thigh up. And warrior two. So drop down as much as you are comfortable with. In the full pose, the front thigh is parallel with the floor. However, if you have any issues with the knee or with the hip, always take care of your body. That's the most important thing in our yoga practice. Notice here in warrior two, how is it feeling in your body? Drop the right arm reverse, bend into the left knee a little bit more. Inhale to come up, left form to left thigh, reach the right arm up and over, spinning the right tricep down. So you can gently press the left arm on the thigh to rotate the torso or you could take the left hand to the pinky toe side of the foot or a block and then gently press the left knee into the left arm to continue to make sure that the left knee points straight ahead over the middle toes. I always want to keep our knees safe. Continue grounding through the legs and feet as you open the hips. And then take your hands to the inside of the left foot. Pick up the back heel. You can stay right here or you can go down onto the forearms or put the forearms on a block. You can also drop the back knee to the floor if need be. And remember, this is your practice. So if you are always powering through the most difficult expressions of the pose, maybe just notice that. Give yourself permission to rest if you feel like you need a rest. So walk yourself back up. And we'll step back into plank, move through your vinyasa, chaturanga, or go right to down dog, inhaling up dog, shoulders over wrists, exhaling to downward facing dog. Stretch back here, lengthen, really long through the spine, and continue now to find your grounding again. Check in with your breath. And then look up, bend the knees, step or hop your feet up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Press down through your feet. Inhale, rising up. Exhale to samastitihi. Now take your feet hip socket distance apart. Make sure the outer edges of your feet are still parallel. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, hinge from the hips forward. Keep that grounding in the legs. Interlace the fingers and reach the arms forward any amount. If all the weight is in your heels, see if you can shift it a little toward the balls of your feet. And again, feel that really strong connection to the earth. Now bring, take your fingertips to the floor, lengthen halfway up. You can also put hands on blocks here, block or blocks. We're gonna lift the right leg out to the right and then point your toes and your knee up toward the ceiling. It is awkward, <laughs> but it's another way to open the hips and also it works on strengthening. We'll set the right leg down and now the left leg out to the left. And again, point the knee and the hip up toward the ceiling. So if you have physical dysfunctions in the second chakra, you might have chronic or lower back pain, sciatica, OBGYN problems, you might have pelvic or low back pain. Let's release that back to center. Inhale, come halfway up. Now interlace other pinky on top. Exhale and fold over again, stretching out the shoulders a little bit. Reach the crown of the head toward the floor. Shift the weight a little bit more toward the balls of the feet if you can. 
Inhale to come up and release the hands. Hands on hips again. And we still want the feet hips width apart, hip socket distance. Inhale, open up the chest. Hinge from the hips, exhale, nice long spine. Take the big toes with the first two fingers. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale to fold. Good, lengthen on the inhale. And then with your first two fingers around your right toes, lift it up to the right, toes and knees pointing up to the ceiling. Keep drawing your left hip in towards center. And release. Left two fingers around the left big toe. Or actually first take both toes and we'll fold forward one more time. Reaching the crown of the head down, then halfway up. Keep the left hand on the big toes, right hand to floor or on the block. Left leg up to the left, any amount. Doesn't matter how high. So pelvic low back pain, you could have sexual potency issues, maybe urinary problems if there are blockages in the second chakra. Let's bring that foot back to center. And inhale, look up and lengthen. As you exhale, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up through the hands and feet. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg back and up. Exhale, step it through, spin the back heel flat, warrior two. Then straighten the right leg, bring your feet to parallel, toes in a little toward each other. Inhale to open the chest. Exhale, folding forward, hands to the floor. Lengthen on the inhale, keep some nice long, the nice long spine. Exhale to fold, crown of the head reaching down. The elbows and wrists line up if possible. Lift the shoulders gently away from the floor and firm the legs. Feel the grounding again through the feet. If your weight is on the heels, again, shift it a little toward the balls of the feet. Firm the leg muscles. Squeeze the outer hips, inner thighs gently toward each other. One more breath here. Inhale. Halfway up. Exhale. Bring hands to hips. Inhale. Come all the way up to standing. And arms to a T on the inhale. Interlace your fingers behind you. Take the opposite interlace, the funny one. Lengthen on the inhale, fold on the exhale. So if you don't know which one is the opposite interlace, don't worry about it. But if you know that you dominantly clasp in one direction, do the opposite today. Reach the arms over any amount, stretching through the shoulders. Also getting a little bit into the fourth chakra, which is the heart chakra, when we open up the chest like that. And then inhale to come up. Turn the right leg out, warrior two for a moment. Step back through your vinyasa or go right into downward facing dog. So again, just notice you take every vinyasa every time. Maybe you can skip one or two if you would like. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale, step it up, come to warrior two for a moment. Then we'll straighten the left leg. So heel to arch here, shift your hips back, lean forward over the left leg, take the left hand to the shin or floor or block. Block on the pinky toe side of the foot if you're using it. Stretch through the right arm, shoulders in line with each other. Try to lengthen out from the left hip through the left armpit. And then we'll take that right hand behind the back and roll the right shoulder back. Again, widening across the collarbones. Stay with that or interlace fingers. Again, stretching open the chest, reaching the arms back, but keep the torso back over the front thigh. Release the hands. Inhale to come up. If you've got a block, bring it with you. Turn your right leg out. Shift the hips back. Make sure you're still heel to arch. And right hand down wherever it goes to the shin, the foot, the floor, the block. Stretch up through the left fingertips. And if your neck's okay with it, look toward the left hand. Keeping the breath steady. Left arm behind the back. Roll the left shoulder back. So chest expanding. Collarbones wide. Either stay with that or reach the right arm back as well, interlacing, other interlace. Rolling both shoulders back 
And again, spreading across your collarbones. Release back to triangle. Inhale to come up and feet to parallel. Heel toe or hop your feet together and back to the front of the mat. Find your grounding through the feet. Close the eyes a moment if you like. And then bend the knees on an inhale for Utkatasana chair pose. Exhale and fold in. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, stepping back to plank or hop back, landing in chaturanga. Oh, actually, come to plank, holding plank here. We're gonna come down onto the forearms. We're gonna move a little bit into the third chakra, the power center, right in the abdomen. This is press back up to plank, left hand where the left elbow was, right hand where the right elbow was. And then lower halfway chaturanga. Inhale to press up. Exhale, back, make your way back into downward facing dog. Inhale, float the right leg back and up. Exhale, step it through. Stay on the ball of your back foot this time. Come on up into high lunge. Bend the back knee, drop the tailbone down. Reach the arms up. Keep that knee bent unless it bothers your knee, of course. Keep lifting the belly, the right knee is over the ankle. Keep all the length, straighten the back leg, then lean forward, get length here. Take your left arm across and twist. So again, we're working in toward the belly, below the rib cage, solar plexus. The, and then you can stay with that twist or open up into a deeper twist if you like. Steady breathing, bringing the chest to the side, drawing the shoulder blades away from the ears. Try and keep the right hip pulling back. And coming back all the way up to crescent, back to center. Then we'll walk the back foot in about half a foot, straighten both legs. Square up your hips and shoulders to the front so your front heel's in line with your back heel. Grab a block if you have it. Put it on the pinky toe side of the foot or the big toe side. Right hand to low back, left arm up. Exhale, left hand down to the block. Start to make your twist. Keep your hips level. Turn the belly a little and then the rib cage more, the chest the most, and stretch up through the right arm. So the third chakra, the organs involved, the abdomen, and the stomach, the upper intestines, the liver and gallbladder, the kidney and pancreas, the adrenal glands, the spleen, and the middle spine. Keep the belly lifted. And now we'll take the block over toward the left side of the mat, lifting the left leg up from the inner thigh. Keep your hips level. You can keep your right hand at your low back or reach it up toward the ceiling for Pavrita Ardha Chandrasana. Take another breath here, stretching out. Then take both hands to the floor. Keep the leg up a little bit longer. Bend the left knee. Walk your fingertips back. Sit all the way down on your bottom, finding boat pose, Navasana. Knees can be bent or straight. So now we'll strengthen that belly area, third chakra area. Cross the ankles, press down, lift up anything at all. Roll forward, step or float, Chaturanga. Inhaling up dog or cobra. Exhaling down dog. Left side. Left leg floats up on the inhale. Exhale, step it all the way up by the left hand, stay on the ball of the back foot, high lunge. So again, we'll bend the back knee and drop the tailbone. Lift your hip points up and pull the left hip back. Stretch up through the arms, arrow straight arms. Keep all that length you created in the spine and then start to straighten through the back legs. Big stretch in the, in the right leg. Then lean your torso forward, get length and hook your right arm across. Press the palms right at the center of the chest. You can stay with that, making sure that the left hip's pulling back. If you wanna go deeper, right hand to the floor, left arm up. We try as best we can to keep the hips level. Keep the breath nice and steady. It's always a little bit more challenging to breathe in a twist. Twists are very good for the stomach, intestines, good for digestion, all those things that the third chakra governs. Let's come back to center, reach up through the arms, straighten the front leg, walk the back foot in, 
heel to heel alignment, grab your block on the pinky toe side or big toe side of the left foot. Right arm up, left hand to low back, take an inhale, get some length, exhale, keep the length, hinge from the hips, right hand down to the block. Then pull the left hip back so your hips are nice and level and start to make your twist. Belly, rib cage, chest, and stretch up through the left arm. If possible, crown of the head reaches forward and looks up. So if you are blocked in the third chakra, you might have trust issues. You might have issues surrounding fear or intimidation. You might have some things going on with your self-esteem or self-confidence, self-respect. It might be difficult to care for yourself or others. So we're going to take the block to the right side, lift the right leg up, keep the left hand on the low back or hips, make sure the hips are still level, and lift it up or not. Might have trouble making decisions, might be sensitive to criticism. And then stick the left hand down. So keep the right leg up, bend the knee, bring it all the way through, sit all the way down on your buns. Navasana, boat pose. Keep it here. So if you have back issues, you'll stay here. Otherwise, you're going to lean back almost to the floor, but not quite. Lean back. Inhale, come up. Oh, sorry. Come all the way down. <laughs> so third chakra issues, maybe arthritis, colon, intestinal problems. So take the outer edges of feet parallel. Lift up into bridge. Tailbone toward backs of knees could have pancreatitis or diabetes, indigestion, or anorexia or bulimia, liver dysfunction. Release down, rest a moment. You might have hepatitis, maybe adrenal dysfunction. So it's just possible. doesn't mean if you have those that it's your third chakra, but it's something to think about. Bridge pose or hands up by the ears, crown of the head first, and then stretch up. So of course, this is big heart opening pose and then the fourth chakra is kind of the gateway between the lower three and the upper three. Chin to chest and lower down. And then feet parallel, we'll lift up again. Actually rest a moment first. Put a hand on your belly, a hand on your heart and notice the change in energy, the shift that's happened after a couple of back bends. The energetic heart pumps love through the body. If you have a block, put it at the base of the spine for supported bridge. Spiral the thighs in toward each other. Reach the tailbone to the backs of the knees gently, chin away from chest. So this class, we're just focusing on the first three chakras because those are the ones that are very important to begin with. And most people, if they have blockages, they usually will start there. And if they do start there, then it's going to affect the other chakras as well. So lift off the block, or actually not yet. Lift your legs up toward the ceiling, sorry. So Vipriti Karani, legs up the wall, but without the wall. And if you don't have a block, just lift your legs up. This takes a little bit of belly strength as well. In that third chakra again, the power center. And if you think that you have some blockages in your chakras, or maybe they're, they're overly open, that can happen too. Lift off the block, come down. Um, don't worry, I have some blockages in my chakras I'm working on. It's one of those things that we can just work on, keep going, but just being aware, being aware of how the body feels in the practice. Roll yourself back and forth, up and down the spine, and then come up to seated. Sit up nice and tall. Feel that grounding again through the legs. Inhale, reach up nice and tall. Exhale, hinge from the hips forward. Lengthen on the inhale. Exhale, extend forward. So Dandasana into Paschimottanasana. So in this pose, again, you can really feel the sit bones ground down. You can feel that connection to the ground. Maybe you can even feel the, the pulling down through gravity. Inhale, lift the head, exhale to release. 
Soles of feet together, knees apart. Open the feet like a book. Lengthen as you inhale, hinge forward, long spine on the exhale. So this first part, we'll keep the spine nice and long, not rounding the back at first. Breathing through the chest. Inhale and exhale, long breaths. Then inhale up. Bring the feet a little further forward and now round yourself down, your forehead toward your feet. Allow the spine to round. Steady breathing. Notice the sensations in your body. Notice the thought process. Are you present with your breath and your posture? Inhale, come on up. And we'll come onto our backs. Arms to a T and drop the knees off to the left. Turn, look over the right shoulder. You can also cross the right knee on top of the left knee if you'd like to go a little deeper. Or if there's another twist you like, take that. Inhale back to center. Exhale the knees to the right, looking left. If you'd like to cross the left knee over the right, a little bit deeper, that's good too. And then back to center. We'll make our way into Shavasana. I have a blanket rolled up, so I'm putting it under my knees just because I like that. Try it if you wish. Um, you could also put a blanket under your head or support the back of your neck, your cervical spine. Once you get into a comfortable position, feel that grounding for a moment and then allow everything, just let it go. Let go of the breath, the process of the mind. Just relax. I'll let you rest for a couple minutes. As you're resting here, I have a quote today from Thich Nhat Hanh. And you can start to make movements as you make your way back to seated. So Thich Nhat Hanh says, To be beautiful means to be yourself. You don't need to be accepted by others. You only need to accept yourself. So I invite you to accept yourself. Rolling onto your right side if you haven't already thanking yourself quietly for taking your practice and then make your way up to seated sitting up nice and tall let's bring the hands to the heart palms touch find that grounding through your sit bones hands to our forehead reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts hands to our heart center reminding us to have clear and loving intentions and hands to our mouths to remind us to have clear and loving communications sending out this wonderful energy to all beings everywhere namaste thank you so much for joining today subscribe to our channel there's a subscribe button we would love you to join 
and send us a donation if possible. We want to continue to bring you quality videos and also leave a comment. Let me know what you would like to hear or see different topics I can do vlogs on or different types of classes or maybe other things that you're interested in. Bye!